All right, everyone, welcome back into another Prize Picks NBA DFS video. Going to be touching on the top prop bets for this two game NBA playoff slate. If you guys enjoy the coverage, make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel. That does help out a lot. I'm trying to get to 10K subscribers, and I might possibly be doing a little, don't want to say giveaway, but a little special thing for when that happens. So obviously help that out. Let's go ahead and get into the two games. So the biggest worry that we face with the playoffs really has just been, are games going to stay close or are they going to blow out? That happened last night with the Phoenix Suns. And man, the Suns really just seemed like they got vastly outcoached last night. That was an insanely good job by Denver as a whole, but Ooh, the importance of DeAndre Aiden sure seemed to stand out right there. So what is the importance of doing the game preview like this? Well, we are trying to figure out which games are the games that we want to attack or are there any games that we want to stay away from based off of how Vegas thinks the slate's going to go. And as it sits right now, we could potentially see maybe Miami blowing out the Knicks. Six point spread. We'll see. Low scoring game as well. 208. That is a very low scoring game as well. Then we have Golden State versus the Lakers. The Lakers are actually favored to win by 2.5 points. I mean, that's not a lot, but this is the lowest game total that we've seen from the Lakers versus Warriors in quite a while. So that's interesting to note as well. So let's go ahead and look at the Knicks versus Miami. We are getting a couple of good props out of this game. And so just pulling up here on the cheat sheet here, we can see we got Jimmy Butler over assist, not exactly projected to get there, 5.9, but not, not crazy. Uh, Kevin Love for over threes, projected to get 1.97 for over 1.5 threes. That's a pretty good one. Uh, we got LeBron James over assists. And so we can kind of see those ones. That's the thing about how the games are projected to play is that we are seeing a lot of these over bets that are favored by Vegas. They're not exactly correlating too well. Like this is very spread out here, the color, right? And then I do just want to pull it up directly on the prize picks cheat sheet just so we can see that example as well. So you guys can see the percent odds for these ones to hit. So we can see about a 53% chance for the Jimmy Butler prop to hit, about a 53.8% chance for the Kevin Love prop to hit as well. So, you know, not exactly the best slate that we are getting thus far. Don't get me wrong. Those are certainly like good enough. You can make those prop bets if you want to. Now, I do just want to call out some lines that we are getting between prize picks and underdog that are kind of favorable, especially more so on underdog. If we were attacking specifically this Miami versus the Knicks game, it would probably be on underdog because we can see like for fantasy score for Jalen Brunson, underdog has it set at 44.25. So if you want to bet the over there, you'd do that on underdog. Obviously, if you think he's going to struggle today, then you'd bet the under on prize picks. Same thing for Mitchell Robinson for rebounds. Same thing for Jalen Brunson for rebounds. So that would be kind of the approach that you would want to go with there. I do find it vastly interesting just how terrible like Kevin Love has been uh, as well. It's like uh, the exact same thing as Al Horford where shooting enough shots, just ice cold right now. And so Willie make two threes i mean probably if he's gonna get around five to eight shot attempts from three ball range uh, he's just not playing a lot of minutes mostly because he was terrible shooting the basketball and if he's not productive offensively he's just not going to get the minutes so that's obviously the worry there with him and really the the one play that i think is okay in some capacity could potentially be Kyle Lowry with quickly still out. I think Lowry has a good chance to get to around 30 minutes again. And we can see like his fantasy score has been over quite a bit, but it's been very close. Like we need to get a couple of steals from him as well. Like to me, this is probably my favorite one out of this game. At the same time, they all feel a little bit too tight, especially with a low scoring game. Uh, I personally like to bet more overs than unders. I just have a better feel for it. And so to me, this kind of just seems like a game in which we probably just want to stay away from for the most part. Let's go ahead and get into the next game. All right. So looking at the Lakers versus the Warriors, we'll start with the game preview. Obviously, ooh, just changed live three point spread now for the Lakers uh, 220.5 over and under still very low scoring. Looking at we can see something like Austin Reeves, kind of a big prop line difference in terms of fantasy score there. If you think he's going to continue to uh, play well, you'd want to bet the over and underdog. And so we can see, yeah, the last couple of games, Reeves has been playing extremely well. If you don't think that's going to continue, then obviously bet the under on prize pick. Now, I, I wanted to call this big prop line difference that we are getting as well. Let's look at it. Points and assists for Andrew Wiggins. Vegas has a line set at 18.5 and about a minus 120 for that over to hit. Prize picks has the number set to 20.5. Underdog has a line set at 19. 
That's a big discrepancy there. So the prize picks underdog difference is 1.5. So if you think he's going to do well tonight, you'd want to bet the over on prize picks. Or sorry, sorry. You'd want to bet the over on underdog. If you think he's going to struggle shooting the basketball, then you'd want to bet the under on underdog. But I also want to call it the fact that, oh, and as an FYI as well, just for Julius Randle, just going back to that game real quick. If we're looking at his fantasy score, we look at what his prop line should be based off the average sports odds should be set about 43 for fantasy points. Uh, and the projection is about 41 as well. So if you just want to go off of that, you could use uh, Julius Randle there. But here's another one that I find interesting with Andrew Wiggins. So we take the average Vegas line for the props that we're getting on him on the day, and they would say that his fantasy score should be 31.7. We take his projection, it should be 32. And so we are getting some sort of edge there, whether that be an underdog or prize picks. We can see that this fantasy score prop that we are getting for Andrew Wiggins is probably a decent one. And yes, he's been a little bit hit or miss. That's the problem that I have with the Warriors. I've mentioned this a lot already. Uh, especially going against the Lakers. You know, the Kings is a little bit different, but any one of their kind of four scores can go off. And that makes them very difficult to trust on a night in and night out basis. I'm probably not betting Andrew Wiggins, but if you guys wanted to based off of the projections data, based off the data that's coming in, you could. And, you know, I wouldn't fault you for that. And then just as a whole, looking at the best, like kind of prop differences that we were getting across the board, <laughs> NBA wise, like we'd see Steph Curry, underdog is valuing him a little bit higher than prize picks. So if you think Curry is going to continue to play well, you'd probably want to bet the over on prize picks. LeBron James with the assist one, you could definitely do that. Uh, underdog has already bumped it to six. So that kind of tells me that prize picks will probably bump it throughout the day as well. So that's one you could definitely roll with if you wanted to. The issue that I'm having is that we are so deep into the series that we kind of know what's going to happen with these teams and with these players. So the props are adjusted correctly already. Whereas game one, game two, and even game three, the edges that we would get are just not really there. Okay. So this is very much if you're betting on NBA today, what we would be doing was just taking these EV based bets. Okay. 54% chance to hit for Jimmy Butler. You could bet the over there. Kevin Love three is probably my favorite one, which sounds weird to say. You you know, 54% chance to hit, we could use that one. And so that's kind of the route that I'd probably want to go with on the day. All right. So I do have two bets that I really like on the day. Well, I shouldn't say really like that are going to be good enough for us to use today. This is not a day in which we are going crazy with our bankroll. We really haven't had that day in, in a while now. Tight lines. Hopefully Saturday presents some nice ones. But the two props I have for you are going to be MLB prop. And obviously with MLB props, this is an NBA video. You could use the information throughout the video with your favorite NBA props from the video to then pair with these MLB props and just hope that they hit. So let's get into my favorite one on the day. We're going to be looking at Chris Bassett for over 4.5 strikeouts. So we can see the over four strikeouts is set at about minus 135 to hit, which gives him about a 53.3% chance for that one to hit. We can see that his projection data says he's going to get five strikeouts. We can see that based off the average Vegas line, they have it set at 4.5. So as a whole, like it's not too strong, overly strong, but anytime for me that we can get a pitching strikeout prop that has really over a 50% chance to hit and it's not an even number, that is something that I pay attention to. And that's something that I kind of like to attack. So we can see like Bassett over you know his past few games has really been right there. Uh, what I like to do really with props like this is I like to see see pitchers that are either getting the over or are very close to getting the over. So he had four strikeouts against the White Sox. That's that's fine. I'll take that one strikeout away. We'll take that. And then the rest, five, seven, five, seven. Like that is solid. As long as he doesn't get shelled, which he has one of the best chances to have a quality start out of any pitcher on the slate, then he's going to be one that I'm going to be fine using for the pitching base prop. Now let's go ahead and get into the second prop for the day. We got Nolan Arenado over seven for the hitting score. And if you guys haven't caught it, like the reason why the bet of the day number is so strong like it is is because a lot of times we're just chasing fantasy score props and that seems to be the biggest edge out there right now and they just price person and underdog hasn't exactly adjusted too much for it and also they're different a lot of the time so very interesting in that aspect but looking at arnado we can see when he has been on has really kind of crushed the over here that's kind of baseball. It's, it's not going to be, especially for hitting base props, it's not going to be as steady of a line. It's going to be peaks and valleys. So let's go ahead and look at why I like this prop. Well, if we look at it, yes, his over percent based on the average sportsbook line is going to tell us that um, this Vegas line 10.7. Yeah, he's most likely not going to get over that. OK, but that's a big difference between the seven prize picks line that is out there. And he is projected to get 10.67. I've seen a strong correlation for these hitting base props where both the prop line from Vegas and then the projected prop line where it's vastly higher than the prize picks line, they tend to hit at a higher clip than a lot of these other 
prop. And so I'm not saying this is a guarantee to hit, but I'm just saying in the long term, a prop like this will hit a majority of the time. And obviously that's all we're really trying to do with betting is chase these EV based bets. Well, this is going to be one of those. And we can see we are against some other decent ones as well. Pete Alonzo, potentially uh, Paul Goldschmidt, potentially uh, we've got another one down here, Aaron Judge. I think these are all okay ones as well. And so here's going to be the official bet of the day. Now, I would love to round out an NBA stack. We've had a lot of success with that. I know we went over three yesterday with Phoenix getting blown out, and that also happened the last time Denver versus Phoenix played. But as a whole, we are up pretty solid by just game stacking, especially with the playoffs, because we're just trying to predict which way the game's going to go based off of the Vegas lines that we are getting. I just I don't see any real good lines out there to do that with. So that's why the bet of the day is going to be MLB based. If you guys want to use some of them NBA props with that, by all means, go ahead and do that. Now, that's going to be all for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the coverage. If you did, you know what to do. Give that like and subscribe. That does help out the channel a lot. Let's have a good slate. And as always, let's keep cashing.